Rebounding or using a mini trampoline is one of the most popular exercise options for those who have lymphedema or other lymphatic dysfunction. The lymphatic system does work more effectively when you are pumping your muscles with exercise. And rebounding is a great option to do just that. For those who are new here, my name is Kelly and I am a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphedema as well as oncology and women's health. In this video, I'm gonna explain what rebounding is, how it's used for the lymphatic system, and show what exercises I like the most for using the rebounder. So let's get started. The rebounder or mini trampoline can be used for light and gentle exercise or all the way up to vigorous exercise, depending on what you're looking for. This is the rebounder I have. It has a safety handle. You may see them without the handle as well, but if you have any balance issues or safety concerns, I would definitely recommend looking for one that does have the handle. You also wanna make sure that you're looking at the weight restrictions of the trampoline. They vary in their weight restriction. They also make a lot of mini trampolines for children, so you wanna make sure that you're looking at one for adults so that you don't go over that weight restriction for kids. I've done a lot of research for you and I've gone through and found different types of rebounders and trampolines for various price ranges and also talked to a lot of patients that I work with and found which ones they like the most as well. And I will place the links down below for all of those options. One of the biggest benefits of using the rebounder or trampoline is that it's a lot easier on the joints, especially for those who have more arthritis. It's still considered a weight bearing exercise, so it's still gonna be really beneficial for your bones and your muscles but it does take away a lot of that pressure on the joints like walking and running do. A lot of the research around rebounding and using the trampoline is around the cardiovascular system and the lungs, showing a lot of benefit for those who use their trampoline. Before starting any exercise of any sort, you always wanna to talk to your doctor to get clearance and talking to your therapist or certified lymphedema therapist to make sure that this kind of exercise is safe and effective for you. So next I'm gonna go through the different exercises one by one, showing from easy to hard of different types of movements that you can do within your mini tramp or your rebounding sessions. Because of the noise of the mini tramp and me moving, I'm gonna do a voice over for this, talking through technique for each one. But you can follow along through each exercise or just pick the ones that you like and put it into your routine. I will show another higher level exercise routine in another video. So again, if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell to know when that video arrives. First, we wanna begin by making sure that you're well stretched out. Focus on stretching out the hamstrings as well as the calf muscles. Holding your stretches for about 20 seconds each. Then when getting on the rebounder, I always start with some small jumps, gradually building up in my height and my intensity as my joints and my muscles start to loosen up. As we go through these movements, each of them can be done for about 20 to 30 seconds or working up to one to two minutes for each, or you can alternate moves every 10 to 20 repetitions. You can work up into a run or even up into high knees. Next we'll work into jumping jacks. Start at a steady pace or modify by holding on with one arm or both for balance. Next is the crossover jump. Alternate each jump, going back and forth, forward and back. For more of a challenge, let go of the bar and add a modified jumping jack with the crossover jump. As you need to, you can decrease your jump height to catch your breath in between. Now we'll work into the twisted side jumps. To stay in control, I like to jump two to four times in the middle before my next side jump. 
Of course, hold on as needed, but make sure that you're using your oblique and core muscles to rotate. You can also speed it up by doing less jumps in between. Next is a mini squat jump with a double bounce. When your feet jump out to the sides, try squatting down lower for more glute and hamstring activation. You can also modify by staying low in the squat position for both the in and out jumps for more of a challenge. Toy soldiers are next. You wanna try by kicking your heel out in front of you, alternating each jump. You can also add your arm movements for more of a full body workout. Start with small ones or move to large ones. You can slow down your movements again to catch your breath. We're gonna finish with running in place. As you get more comfortable, you can speed up your feet to work to get your heart rate up faster. Make sure that you're pumping your arms to help with your balance. Then at the end of my routine, I like to take a few minutes to cool it down with various small jumps and movements until I can get my heart rate down a little bit. When you're finished, you wanna make sure that you stretch it out well, focusing on your hamstring muscles and your calf muscles. Hold each movement for 20 seconds and repeat two or three times. For those who would prefer to start seated, here are some modifications. You can start with seated marching, out and ins with double bounce, and then try moving back into fast running. And now into double bounces. And working into skiing bounces. You can add your arms for any and all exercises for a whole body workout in this seated position. So those are some of the most basic exercise movements that I like to incorporate into the routine. I'm always a big advocate for my patients to find something that they enjoy doing, especially for exercise. So a mini trampoline or rebounder is going to be easier on the joints while still giving you the same benefit of the muscle pump. It doesn't take a lot of space. It's fairly cheap to do, and you're gonna get the same benefits as you would with some other cardiovascular exercise. So overall, this might be a really great option for someone to try. Again, you wanna make sure that using a mini tramp or a rebounder is safe for you to do by checking with your doctor or your therapist first. So I hope you found this video helpful. For more videos on lymphedema, oncology, and women's health therapy, be sure to subscribe down below, and I'll see you all next week for another video. Thanks, everyone.